welcome to Jersey. Yeah, I'm here for a long weekend, come with the wife. We've been to this place many times before. Um, we love the island, we love the beaches, we love the people, the food is amazing. If you want to come for seafood, you come here. It's absolutely glorious. Yeah, so we've come for a long weekend. It's bank holiday weekend in May. Um, weather's not been too bad. It's been nice and sunny for the last couple of days, but that wind's been a bit chilly. Never mind. So now I've been out with a camera. Been out um, several places. It's, a, it's a, such a great island to explore and it's so accessible. It's what, 45 minutes from one side of the island to the other. Um, coves, beaches, um, gardens, all sorts of places from, from top to bottom. It's a, it's a really good place to come and explore. So if you want to go to some nice dramatic coastline, how about this? Like Rosal Bay, on the very northeast tip of Jersey. France over there in the distance. And this is a seven image stitch panorama of this outcrop here in the middle of the day in Jersey. And what about some really nice sandy beaches? What about this? This is Plemont Bay, gorgeous beach, just on the uh, north east coast of Jersey, top left. And I've got a really simple composition here. This rock, with beautiful blue sea in the background and the cliffs, and just a clear blue sky. It's a nice and simple straightforward image with the first ones down on the beach the tide's only just gone out so there's not too many uh, footprints as yet which is great and there's some really nice ripples in the sand here just to help with foreground interest so yeah Plemont Bay beautiful place what I've found here wow just look at the gorgeous green colors in these rocks and the turquoise sea in the background. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Little inlet, had to clamber over some rocks to get here, but wow. What a beautiful island this is. So I've taken a shot, obviously. I've got uh, 24 to 70 on. Polarizer really lift and give those greens some punch um, I might have to desaturate a little bit if it looks a bit too much but the greens are there there you know I'm not going to bring them out in post and make them look false they are really green and saturated yeah a lovely place oh and then there's this place Portolet Bay, Portolet, Portolet, I think. This is one of our favourite bays on the whole island. Beautiful, isn't it? Caught it where the tide's still in around this little castle in the middle. Just taking a couple of shots here, long exposures, about 30 seconds. These rocks in the foreground, out to the island. Nothing special, but it's a reminder of when we were here again this year. But beautiful place, absolutely stunning. Portolo Bay. Oh, 
I'm on the um, St Alban Bay. I've got St Helia behind you and St Alban in the distance there. And our hotel actually is only just a um, five minute walk up the road. If you do come and stay, I can recommend the Hotel Christina. It's fabulous, food is amazing. So yeah, just five minute walk. So I've just popped up, popped out this morning just to come and take a shot of the Elizabeth Castle here at uh, St Helier. Got the 10 stop on, medium edge grad. It's calm conditions. I'm getting some quite nice long exposures, some nice colour in the sky. There's a bit of a pure purple hue going on in the sky, which is really nice. It's about 6.15, glorious morning. playing the waiting game on this one. Simple composition, but I've got the castle in the background and there's a rock, you see, just there. And I'm waiting for the sun to shine on the rock. Just really light it up, give it a bit of punch. Sun's rising over there. We're not rising, it's risen ages ago. Um, so theoretically, it should cast some light on that stone within a few minutes. That's the plan. Uh, I've have got the uh, ND grad and I've got the 10 stop. Exposure times of about 20 seconds. Right. Oh, nearly there. Oh, forgot to say. 7200 on. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want the castle to be a long way away in the distance. So by putting the 7200 on, I'm bringing the effect of compressing it together and making them look a little bit closer in the scene. That's why. Just in case you were wondering. Focused on the rock, F11. I may focus on the castle as well, we'll see. Back to it. four days here on this beautiful island of Jersey. Absolutely fantastic. But this shot here, if I'm honest, is the one I've been looking forward to. And I just hope that I get the sunset. So I'm at Corbier Lighthouse. Now Corbier Lighthouse is never eat shredded wheat. It's on the west hand tip, uh, west tip of the island and obviously it's better for a sunset. Now, I've been watching and we've got high cloud tonight, so you never know. However, there is a band of dark, gray, cloudy stuff on the horizon, so I hope that doesn't spoil it. But anyway, it's not very often I get to shoot a lighthouse, so I'm gonna make the most of it, whatever happens. So let me show you this composition. <clears throat> okay. So we have the lighthouse in the background. Now the sun is due to set just to the left-hand side of that building over there, which I think is actually an old German um, bunker on the top of that hill there. 
Now the composition is a wide shot to begin with. I've got my 16 to 35 on and I'm using these rocks in the foreground and there's two tips there that are sort of pointing up towards the night house which I think are quite nice. They've actually also got this yellow algae on top as well which if there's some orangey colours in the sky it should tone quite nicely. I've gone for a wide shot as I say so I've actually got the whole of the edge uh, of the rocks in as well and the lighthouse is on my top third. So a nicely balanced composition um, all these obviously I need now is the light. What I'll probably do, because with the 16 to 35, the lighthouse is quite small in the frame. Um, so what I might do is, if I do get some nice colour, I might come down here. <coughs> and use these rocks here with uh, some foreground interest and just go in a bit tighter. Probably get my 70 to 200 on, stand further back there and go in a bit tighter on the lighthouse. Uh, and get the sun again which should be about there setting in the background so hopefully fingers crossed we get some light uh, on that so yeah that's this is my composition this is Corbier lighthouse just need the sky to turn a lovely shade of orange and it'll be a perfect evening right sit and wait <laughs> Well, unfortunately it didn't happen, but never mind. The only light I got was over there, not enough behind the lighthouse. I did take one, as you can see, I, I came in from a wide image and I've cropped in a bit closer and made it a more simple image, which is still nice. Never mind. Anyway, <clears throat> from this beautiful island of Jersey, the Corby Air Lighthouse. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and this tour around Jersey and a, a few locations where if you come to this island you can get a few decent images if you try. Really enjoyed it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it too. Until the next time, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon.